And action. So, Mr. James, is, is it, it rolling? Uh, yes. And action. So, Mr. James, is it true that you wrote a book? Oh, that thing? <laughs> yes, the rumors are true. One afternoon, I was just thinking to myself, why aren't I a published author yet? So I just jotted down some notes and doodles, and then I thought, you know, people should pay money for this. So, like, it's just a bunch of pictures? No, I added words, too. It's a collection of stories and opinions of mine, some of which I've already made into videos, and some that are completely original news stories. Like, one chapter is all about the science fair, and... Yeah, it is the same story I used in the YouTube video, but I also go more in-depth with the story, and I draw new pictures. YouTubers have a reputation of writing bad books. Does this concern you? Oh, bad books, huh? I'll have you know that my book was the number one best-selling book in literature, criticism, and theory. Do I know what that means? No, but did I beat Tyrant, Shakespeare on politics? Yes. Does that mean I'm better than William Shakespeare himself? I'll let you be the judge when you pick up your copy of the book, link in the description. I'll give you a clue, the answer is yes. Are all authors as condescending as you? Uh, do you even know what that word means? James, is there anything special that happens to people who order at VidCon? Yeah, the people who pre-order at VidCon get a signed copy. Well, what about people who aren't going to VidCon? Sucks to be them. Cut, come on. Haha, <laughs> that was a good joke. So I actually am going to be selling signed copies. I'll be signing the first 1,000 copies to people who pre-order the book on my website. Check the link in the description. Also, speaking of my site, I've revamped the whole thing and got a bunch of new merchandise. Check it out if you have some free time. Christmas is right around the corner, guys. There's also non-signed copies available if you just want to pre-order it regularly. Or you can wait until August when the book comes out and buy it at Barnes & Noble or your local bookstore. And depending on how well these signed copies sell, I'll release more. We'll see. If you're interested, then I'll update everything on Twitter, so follow me on Twitter to be updated. Anyway, authors sure can be stuck up sometimes. Like this one time when this pretty well-established author was coming to my town and was doing a signing. I say well-established, but I'm sure if I said his name, you guys wouldn't actually know who he is. Anyway, at his signing, he gave an hour-long talk, and he said he wasn't going to do a Q&A segment because he said he'd been an author for so long that he felt that he already answered every question ever. Okay, Mr. Yahoo Answers, sorry our questions bothered you so much. And then after you listen to him talk, you gotta go up to meet him to get a book signed, but he was the most stereotypical, I'm too good for you celebrity I've ever seen. When you got to his table, he didn't say anything to you, and if you wanted a picture, he wouldn't even look up at the camera. So my family has this picture of all of us standing and smiling next to this guy just looking down reading a book. So I will follow in that author's footsteps and only take pictures with fans while signing my book and looking like this. Contrast to that when I met Steven Pastis. Pastis? I just should have looked up how to spell, say it. He's the creator of a comic strip called Pearls Before Swine, and all you need to know is that his comics are in the newspaper and he's really great. He came to visit Arizona and I was 15 at the time, so I was making stick figure comics, and I wanted to impress Steven, so I got out my ruler and protractor and I very carefully drew this comic. How was your run? Well, let's just say Justin is all pooped out. <laughs> what happened? I don't want to talk about it. Get it? He pooped his pants. This isn't based off anything in real life, okay? I was 15. Shut up. I went to his book signing. He was really awesome. I showed him my comic. He laughed and he told me to keep going. And now I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't just what he said that got me into doing comics in YouTube. I wanted to do that way before I met him. Anyway, he was nice. Ironically enough, I was never a fan of reading, and I think a big part of it was that teachers forced you to read books you didn't want to read. So if this book becomes the next Romeo and Juliet or Grapes of Wrath, and teachers make their students write book reports on this book, then I'll make it easy for all of you. In the description of this video, I will create an already completed book report for this book. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. James, won't the teachers know if all the book reports are the same? Yes, they will, which is why I added some blank spaces for you to put in your own words. It's sort of like a Mad Lib that you turn in for homework. And this book report doesn't even have to be on my book, you can use it for any book. So if you have a book report due tomorrow, then check the link in the description. Trust me, you'll get at least an 80%. You know, the people who already pre-ordered this book are pretty ballsy. They don't even know what this book's about. For all they know, it could have just been a single picture of me laughing at all the money they gave me. But it's not that. I promise. That's just the inside sleeve. And that's the end of the video, everyone. I'll see you at VidCon.